So the Kodiak is reading 11.01 volts, basically 11 volts, and we're drawing about 10 point, 10 point 7 amps, and it's saying 10.04. No, 11.04 is like between, it's like between, yeah, it's like between 10 and 0 percent, so it's about 5 percent of the AGM battery there. We drove it down to 5 percent, and the inverter, Then the, the inverter just the inverter just protected the uh, AGM battery, but it's in the lithium battery. So that this is the difference of an AGM battery. This is the difference between a AGM battery and a lithium battery. And that's what makes the Kodiak so good, is that in all concept in life, I could not be running an AGM battery if it was connected to an AGM battery, because I'd be, I'd be in the process of destroying the AGM battery. So as we're talking, as we're talking, the Kodiak is down to... 60%, 60%, and it's at 1.0, it's, it's at 11, it's saying it's at 11 amps, volts, it's saying it's 11 volts, during 110, watts in 10.09 amps and that that is truly the difference that's truly the difference between a, a Kodiak solar generator and an AGM battery the Kodiak is based on the lithium system and I'm going to refer to it as a lithium bank the codec is a lithium bank of batteries, and the AGM is is a AGM is an AGM battery. And if I only had, if I only had an AGM battery, I would be forced. I would be well advised to call it a night and take the heat the way it is. And uh, being that it's a uh, Lithium, lithium bank system in the Kodiak. I could go below 10.99 now. To go to the chart. Ten point nine nine. I would have to get to. I would have to get to where. Uh, 10.50 to be at zero to be at zero power but it's 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 very close to 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 zero and uh, AGM battery you just you just don't want to run it past zero because you consider it doing it damage and and this is this is <laughs> you'd be damaging the AGM you would be jam damaging the AG, AGM battery and I'm gonna keep running this to to the end of tonight and 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 uh, I'll have no trouble with the, with the lithium battery. It is now uh, 
2.54. So basically, uh, basically three o'clock. And you could say I started this off at midnight. You could say I started this at midnight. So, um, so on, on full power for my heater, it's a uh, It's been on for three hours, and it's no way to run it. And since I since I showed what I wanted to do for the rest of the night, I'm gonna keep it on one, one, one. I guess the low heat, and the Kodak would will have no trouble maintain it. I will have to keep the inverter running all night long now. And uh, I'll have to keep the inverter running all night long. It's 10.94. 10 point, 10 point and uh, I'm not too sure, but I'll find out as the day goes along, or I should say the morning goes along. I did reduce the, the heat so that I don't, I don't need three. I showed what I wanted to show that that uh, the inverter sound off its alarm saying the AGM battery is in trouble, but it was connected to a lithium battery. Which, when an AGM battery gets in trouble, when the AGM battery gets in trouble, the Kodiak <laughs> Kodiak saying I'm 60% full of power. I could run. And that's truly the difference of a uh, AGM and uh, difference between an uh, AGM battery and a uh, Kodiak solar generator is that the Co Kodiak solar generator. Look at that. Hmm. It's saying yeah. Oh, it's because I reduced uh, I, I reduced the heat down to I reduced the heat the heat to be produced at the lowest level so it's saying at the lowest level it's saying a uh, 92 watts now it's uh it's a hundred no yeah 104 watts 93 93 watts and the amps is roughly the amps is roughly it's 6.48 now 7.3 4 the, it's it's jumping the 6 amps so it's it's trying to find a place to settle 3 amps but it is the low setting, and it's dropping in amps compared to was what it was at uh, when I had it at, at heat, the highest heat rating. Now it's 30 watts, 32 watts, so it's it's significantly less. But I'll be plenty warm. I I, I did the test just to to get us uh, just to get us running. So there's uh, 11. Point 11.3 volts at 31. So tonight, for the rest of the night, I'm going right back to sleep. For the rest of the night, I'm going to keep it at one unit of heat, and I could have kept it one unit of heat for the whole night and the uh, inverter the portable inverter the portable inverter would not have sounded off i am purposely drove it but 
I want to show the difference of a AGM battery and the difference of a Kodiak and the fact that the AGM battery at this voltage you you would you would have you couldn't sleep anyway you have this big alarm system going on here it is about seven o'clock still running the unit on the first unit of heat The Kodiak cell generator is at 50% 50, 50 power. The the M spring use is at 6.59. The watts it is 68.2, and the voltage is 10. Point 7.3 and I'll probably go back to sleep after I do this video but the Kodiak is just a great machine if it was an AGM battery you know I'd be out of luck because for the AGM battery I'd be sitting at 0% power is at 10.50 and now at this moment I'm at 10.35 volts so I would definitely be doing damage to the I definitely be doing damage to the AGM battery And and I push the Kodiak this hard. The Kodiak, the Kodiak doesn't need to be, the Kodiak doesn't need to be this low. I just pushed it hard, as I told you I would. So the Kodiak, a great machine. Ten point three five, six point five nine amps. But I'm going back to sleep and don't know when I'm going to wake up and I'm going to let this keep running.